All right, this is what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to open up WMS and bring in mapping data for any point of interest. So we'll get to that by um, this button for getting online maps. And you want to identify the spot that uh, we're searching for. So I'll do Payton City, West Virginia. Jump to that location. We've got Payton City here and click OK and we'll bring up the world street map in the background you can see over here it's processing it's gonna load that street map and there it is in the foreground now some people were having problems with projection so let's start over and see uh, an alternate way that we can uh, set the projection so that WMS knows where to bring in the data and uh, an easy way to find that is here in the hydrologic modeling wizard and we'll go down here to define project bounds and for the projection we're going to set the global projection um, you see this list of options according to uh, Aquaveo the problem that we were having you know the reason why this list of options came up is if, if somebody put like a space in the filter string uh, no I don't know they, they were saying any kind of text in that filter string would make the uh, oh yeah alright so if you have anything in here, if it's just like a space and you try and uh, find what coordinate systems are available, then they're describing that's the reason why it wasn't showing up. So make sure that here in the filter strings you've backed up and that there's no text in there. And then you can go down here and the projected coordinate system that we want to have active is the, we'll close all the rest of these, I had opened them all. UTM NAD 83 zone 17 north that is the projection that we're going to want to have and then here for the vertical datum let's put NAVD 88 and units in meters okay so now it's set so that if I select some area of interest here I'm zooming in on Payton City and that a watershed that I want is here. It's the intersection of Gamble Run and Payton Fork Road. So this little watershed here is what we're going to start on when we have class on uh, on Thursday. So as, as soon as I click OK, then it fills in those coordinate values. Now I may have to click here to minimize and bring it back up. And now that dialog's back in the foreground again. But you see it's filled in the coordinate values. All right. So uh, the other method for defining that projection uh, for so get to set projection they said that you know like if if this isn't working and you, you can't browse down like that remember there's also the library and so if you if you click on this library then we can select the UTM zone 17 datum planner units meters so that's the secondary way that we can define which projection we want WMS to be using. And then we can see here that it has received and accepted that projection. That's all for now. See you on Thursday. Let me know if it doesn't work.